All right, welcome back. And uh, so we just finished the relative velocity calculation, and now we're going to move on to the acceleration or the relative acceleration calculation between these two vehicles A and B. Um, and and really in this problem here, we're going to we have the first thing that we need to do is determine the total acceleration of car A. Okay, in order to solve this problem out, because so we need the total acceleration of each of the particles in order to calculate the relative velocity acceleration, to calculate the relative acceleration. So here we are here, and we're going to, let's do, uh, oops, let's go to a new page. Let's do here, relative, calculate the relative acceleration of, acceleration of A with respect to B. Okay, and we'll get direction and magnitude here. And this time, I'm going to use a vector formulation. So I'm not going to use I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to use a triangle and use law of cosines or anything. Um, I'm just going to use a vector formulation or do a vector analysis to to determine this uh, acceleration or the relative acceleration of a with respect to b. But first, first things first, let's determine the total acceleration total acceleration of each particle each particle, and so for particle B, that one was easy. Particle B, the acceleration of particle B is two meters per second squared, um, and that's given, and that's horizontal. The We're told that the tangential acceleration of A, AAT, is equal to five meters per second squared at an angle relative to the horizontal of 45 degrees. If I go back up and I look over here, I have the tangential component here. What I need now is this normal component, which is always the normal component in NT coordinate systems. The end is always pointing towards the center of curvature. And that means I have an acceleration here, AA, AAN, which is defined as the velocity or the speed squared divided by rho. That's the magnitude of it. And uh, or the radius of curvature, so the v squared divided by the radius of curvature at at some angle. And this angle here is if this is 45 right here, if that's 45, and this is 90, then this is also 45. So this angle is going to be 45 degrees relative to the horizontal co going the other way. Okay. So here, if I go back down, let's do the calculation real quick. A A N is equal to v squared over rho and the speed of particle and this will be at this direction here 45 degrees right here that's a five let's make sure that looks like a five 45 degrees right here and so the magnitude here let's see the speed of a was 10 meters per second quantity squared and the radius of curvature was 100 meters look at how that turned out and that makes this one meter per second squared at an angle of 45 degrees. So, and then if I do like square root of some squares or the normal tangential component, I'll get I'll get a, a magnitude for the entire um, the the entire vector, and then I could uh, draw you know I can even draw it out a little bit uh, it, you know if I if I wanted to. But here you know this is enough information to go on from here. And uh, um and one thing we know is that here I have if I if I follow that story where I take the acceleration vector, so I have the acceleration vector of B, the acceleration vector of B, A, B, which is two meters per second squared. And then I, I know that my um, my acceleration of A is going to be somewhere, you know, going like about here. I don't know what this angle is. I don't know what that angle is, but I know it's going to be somewhere like this. It's going to be this combination of these two components here. I don't know how much or how little. And, and so, but what it, what it does for me is it gives me, you know, by taking these two particles, each of these particles accelerations and touching their tails together, it gives me a visual of what the relative acceleration of A with respect to B looks like. So here, this would be AA with respect to B. And this helps me formulate my vector equation that I need to follow, okay? I don't know if this is the actual direction in fact, it's going to turn out that this this is really is really off, okay? But the um, but it, it at least gives me a visual of how to draw this out, okay? Or write the equation out. And so in terms, so now we're going to apply the vector formulation, vector formula, formulation formula right here. And that formula is that according to this right here, I have AA 
is equal to AB plus AA with respect to B, okay? And, and the way I look at this vector formula is that, you know, I start from here and I get to A, I get to the end of A here. And then in order for me to follow the same path and get to the end of A, the head of A, I would go, I start from here and go to AB plus AAB, and it gets me to the head of A. And that gives me this vector formula, okay? That's kind of a little trick I use or a story I tell, right? And like any vector equation, when I want to analyze this, I can break this up into its two scalar parts, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, let me sum or let me consider the horizontal component. I'm going to assume going to the right is positive. This would be kind of like looking in the i hat direction or the unit vector that's horizontal, the i hat direction here. Okay, put a colon here to represent this is the direction I'm considering. So here, AA, oh, I got to remember, AA is really a sum of AAN plus AAT. And that's equal to AB plus AAB. Okay, so really I, I'm going to take this equation and break it up into components. So I have here, I have AAN, which is uh, um, one meter per second squared, 45 degrees downward. So the I hat component of this, you know, is, is going to be, I have here is this I hat component and here's the J hat or the vertical component of this, you know, this is AAN. So that means AAN is um, one meter per second squared. Uh, let's see, and it's going to the left, so it's negative and cosine of 45 degrees plus AAT, which is 5 meters per second squared, and at a cosine of 45 degrees is equal to AB, which is 2 meters per second squared to the right, therefore positive, and there's no angles because it's purely horizontal, plus AAB, and I need the, I'll call it X, the horizontal component of AAB, okay, of the, of the relative acceleration. So that's one equation, one unknown. Hey, that's great, okay? And that tells me that, I'll just go ahead and solve this out right now. Uh, let's see, this will tell me that this AAB of X is equal to positive 0 0.828 meters per second squared. Okay, so that means that the horizontal component is positive 0.8.28. That means it's, okay, so I'll draw it out in a little bit, okay, so that you can, it'll be clear. And then if I look at the J hat component, and the J hat, let's say, oops, let's say the J hat direction is positive upwards right here, okay. If I look at all the J hat ones right here, I have, again, a negative one meter per second squared for AAN, and then it's negative because this component is downwards, sine of 45 degrees. And then here, this is a negative 5 meters per second squared, sine of 45 degrees. And then uh, um, the, B, the, B, the particle B has no acceleration in the vertical, so 0 plus AABY. And if I calculate this out, I will get that AABY is equal to negative 4.24 meters per second squared. So technically, I, I could be done here. Um, this is, this AAB, this acceleration of A with respect to B, is the same as saying 0.828 meters per second squared I hat plus, uh, or minus, let's say minus 4.24 meters per second squared j hat that's you know that's magnitude and direction all right there uh we like to combine it and draw it so if i wanted to draw this i'd have i'd go about let's see a very small 0.828 a very large 4.24 and here so this would be my a a b x component and this would be my a a b y component and it tells me if i if i sum these together it tells me aab the actual acceleration of a with respect to b aab right there that's what it, that that vector looks like in this angle i'll call that theta right here so uh to get the magnitude of aab i would just do aab uh, right here is just the square root of the of the 
sum of the squares of the components, so 0.828 squared plus negative uh, 4.24 squared, and I'll assume that we all know that the units are going to come out meters per second squared, and if you work this out, you get about 4.32 meters per second squared and then to find this tangent theta or this theta angle I, i'm going to use an inverse tangent so i have tangent theta is equal to the opposite which is aaby or this 4.24 divided by aabx which is 0.828 i forego units because i know the units are going to cancel out and if i solve this i get theta inverse tangent tan inverse of you know, 4.24 over 0.828, this might be too much detail, but here, you know, this is 78.96 degrees, right, or about 79 degrees. And so the way, the final answer for this, another way to represent this, this answer is AAB is equal to 4.32 meters per second squared at an angle of 79 degrees from the horizontal. And then you're like, what's up? done all right let me know if this was helpful or if it wasn't and hope you enjoyed it and you know as always keep your learning structure free